So I'm just chilling, I'm relaxing, I'm on my sofa and I check out some tweets and apparently Seth is gonna balance Baby Dragon, Tornado, Healer, Peck, Mini Pekka, and Goblin Hut. What? Why didn't they tell me about this? Let's check out those balances right now. It's gonna be a lot of balances. I think there's like 11 plus on top of that. Let's do the Elixir Golem challenge just because it's gonna come out the next day. Mmm, it's an orange juice. But before we talk about the balance changes that we found on Twitter, I want to thank everyone that is using code OJ. You just have to scroll to the very bottom and enter in the code. We get a small kickback from everything from you, that you spend in gems from the package deals. So thank everyone that is supporting us. It's more than just me that's behind the scenes. So thank you for all the support that you get for code OJ. I'll, let's get into the balance changes. Turns out I've been bamboozled. Even though this has 400 retweets and 3,000 likes, this is not the real Seth. This is Sword CR. Even in his profile, he says not the real Seth. Seth Supercell is the real Seth. He got us there real good. Even the real Drew commented on this. So I thought this was real. Got off of my sofa for no reason, but we're now we're here. Although, these are five cards that are that want to be balanced. He did say Tornado is going to get a rework. The Battle Healer, the Mini Pack of the Baby Dragon, the Goblin Hut. These all need to be balanced. And the community really wants this. At least the high trophy dudes do. And then the real Seth actually replied, I know, right? It's missing the other six. Is he implicating that there's going to be 11 total changes? Or are we reading too deep into this? But we do have Neri's Elixir Extravaganza. The thing about this one is that it spawns elixirs at the bridge. So right off the bat, you see there's already two elixir droplets on the bridge. Typically for these kinds of challenges, I would recommend skeletons, ice spirits, heal spirits for all of that good stuff. But, but this is elixir golem. Your opponents are going to feed you a lot of elixir golems. So what you want is you want to counter the elixir golems. Right now, as you saw with the balance changes, battle healer needs a nerf. So what do you do? when Battle Healer is overpowered with Elixir Golem. She's really only overpowered with the Elixir Golem. So with the Battle Healer, you need a mirror just to complement the Battle Healer. Night Witch is gonna complement it very well. You have the Electro Dragon that counters Elixir Golems, Sparky counters Elixir Golems, Battle Healer, Night Witch. These all can take care of Elixir Golems. The best thing about this witch is that she's gonna spawn like 20 skeletons. By the time she's done taking care of two Elixir Golems, yes, it's gonna spawn two Elixir Golems at double Elixir time. It's going to ramp up real good. This is all theoretical but it should work very very well it's gonna be overwhelming and I predict that night witch and witch are going to be really good so I'm gonna bring poison for this there's a fine line between poison and rocket right now and personally I think poison's better but if rocket is going to be better Sparky is going to get countered but that doesn't matter because once you see in this challenge it just ramps up so quickly with rage spell you drop it when there's three elixir golems and all these noise and you cannot cannot lose which unsuspecting foe will be crushed by me today. Oh, we have, oh, Jimbo. You don't even know what's up right now. I'm not even gonna dignify the, I'm not even gonna acknowledge those elixir drops at the bridge. There's an elixir golem on the right side. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be one of the best decks. Obviously you wanna tweak it when the challenge is out, but we're, we're doing it a little bit early and we're gonna have one of the best decks. I'm gonna counter the frick out of that elixir golem on the right side. I might even just do some battle healers. Maybe I'll mirror my battle healers on the right side. That You have two Sparkies, you have battle healers. You have so many heckin' things going on right now. I'm gonna use the Electro Dragon on there, but then I'm gonna do a uh, Witch on the right side. Because I'm gonna sacrifice my tower, but we're going in for the big, big three crown, that juiciness. I'm gonna go for the poison though, because those Spear Gobbies are gonna wreck my Electro Dragon. Am I, am I winning? I can't tell. Am I losing? I don't know, but I have four battle healers. I'm a little scared right now. I don't know if I should be scared or concerned. But we have a ton of battle healers on the map. I'm going to rage all of them right now, and we're going to do more battle healers. I don't care about them baby dragons. Nobody messes with the battle healers. Oh wow, my Electric Dragon on the left side is still alive, doing a lot of work. Okay, I think something's happening now. The Battle Healers are complementing each other. He's, this is it. I'm gonna do a Night Witch again on the, on the left side. Maybe we'll do a Sparky this time. And then some Battle Healers to Mirror on the left side. 
and then we're going to rage the right side. I don't know what's happening on the what's happening right now, but I think we're winning. You overwhelm your opponents. Jimbo thought he had me. Mm -mm. <laughs> he knew that emote was coming. Just so that the clan knows, I need to assert dominance. Dare you try again, Jimbo? Uh, I guess while we're waiting, let's check out what's new with Clash Royale. I like this emote. Bust Red 7980. That's cool. This is like the party hut from the commercial. Uh, I see a new UI change in here. XDAS wants to see so we can see online members. I mean, we have it in Brawl Stars, so I don't see why we can't have it in Clash Royale anymore. The argument was privacy issues, but if Brawl Stars has it, I think you should have it here too. Does Brawl Stars have it? I don't even remember anymore. Let's check this out. Fisherman and Wizard need a range nerf. Wow, that, what the heck happened? What, what? What was that? How did that fisherman, oh, because the bandit charged. That's nuts. That was a tentile hook and a tentile fireball from the wizard. Ah, deck shot pro up to normal shenanigans. Looks like this e bar mirror deck is godly. I don't know how he found that, but we saw it here first. Okay, so this Reddit user spotted it too. Fake Seth says that there's going to be 11 balance changes. Real Seth says that there's six more. So are there really 11? Lem is here. Prepare your body, Lem, because you're going to get annihilated. I may lose one tower, but I will not lose all three. Let's do a Sparky in the back. I don't really want to do full-on battle healers just quite yet. I might actually just do a Witch on the left side to take care of those Barbarians and that Elixir Golem. I'm pretty comfortable with that Sparky on the right side. I, I think I, I need some anti-air coming on though, so let's do some battle healers on there. Oh my heck, that's a lot of elixir golems. Let's try and divert that electro dragon. I need to rage defense to the right side. Is my witch doing anything on the left side though? I don't know. My battle healers are pretty bomb though. Let's let's double up those battle healers on the right side. We need to revitalize that elixir golem. I'm pretty confident those two battle healers on the left side are pretty much have everything handled. I have the witch on there. He doesn't have poison. He is doomed. I'm gonna go for a battle healer right off the bat. That's it. Lem, you are doomed. You may have Electro Dragon, but it does not stop my witch. You have no spells. We're back. I don't even know what's going on, but I need to mirror that battle healer before I rage anything. Holy heck. There is nothing. Nothing you can do against this deck. This might actually be one of the best decks. I don't even know if I need poison in this right now. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> Luke says that I'm bringing the winning deck for this next challenge. I invented it. I'm really good at making deck challenges. Shout out to Max for inspiring me to bring out the battle healer mirror. That's really clutch. And then based off of that, we have a really solid deck here. I think this is really, really good. Lit, are you ready? Okay, we'll play one more. I think Lit's ready. Oh yeah. We're just crushing our opponents too fast. I like it. This is how you get nine wins. Nine zero. Oh, Josh. Okay. Get ready for this, Josh. I don't even care about the elixir at the bridge. That's nothing. I'm gonna dominate you so hard that you're not even gonna be able to cross the bridge after this. I'm gonna do a witch on the right side. Just take it easy a little bit. I actually think I need to mirror that. Oh, nah, I don't need to mirror nothing. Ooh, is my Lucky Dragon gonna get that Elixir Bubble from the right side? Yes, from the left side. That works out. Okay, let's do uh, Night Witch on that side. I'm gonna start really pushing the left side now. I might do a Witch on the right side. He already expended that poison, so I'm pretty comfortable with having the Witch deal with everything there. He's got a Firecracker, and that is wrecking me real bad. I have to poison that Firecracker. That's the reality of things. The healers, they're not quite enough. Oh, they are enough. Wow. Let's do it. We're going to triple stack the battle healers then. This is how we're doing it. Let's just poison those firecrackers. They need to get out of here. 
this is it. We need two battle healers on the right side, and this is our way to domination. I'm going to start raging the right side, and then I'm going to defend the left side with the Night Witch. I've got the Witch coming up. I haven't even used Sparky yet. Just because he has Electro Dragon. Actually, it doesn't even matter. This is it. This is it. It's not even... This isn't even Triple Elixir. My goodness! What did I say in the beginning? I'm gonna dominate so hard, you will not even cross the bridge to collect those elixir droplets. That's how good this deck is. And then, rule 101, you never BM family members from the orange fam. But I'm gonna violate it anyways. Okay, let's do one more. A formidable opponent. Lit is Seft. Lit is Seft's mini account. And he's the editor. And the editor is top 2,000 in the game. He's actually pretty good. So I'm actually a little worried here. He might actually stand a chance. He might make a deck that counters me. Or he might make a deck that's just as good. And he outplays me. But not better. Important. Ah, oh, frick. I just used my Electro Dragon. I'm doomed. Well, I'm just going to do a Sparky on the right side. I might have to ignore that Sparky for now. There's... Not much. Let's do, uh... I need to do a battle healer on that side. I need to cycle to my Electro Dragon real bad right now. Thank goodness that Sparky does not cross the bridge. I do need to poison that freaking Firecracker, though. Oh my heck. Executioner Bowler. I think he's getting through. I need that Electro Dragon. I don't like this. Uh, low key, I'm sweating here. High key, I'm sweating. He's got ex freaking Executioner. Oh my heck. I have no defense on the right side or the left side. He's not letting me stack the battle healers. No! Not like this, Seft. Not like this! The Executioner wrecks my Electro Dragon. Oh my freaking heck. No, 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 no. I refuse to admit this deck is better. I can't stack the battle healers because of the freaking bowler. Oh no. This is it. Cut. Step. Edit this out. Cut it. This counters the battle healer deck. It's got bomb tower, executioner, and bowler. He only won because he hard countered me. He knew the deck I had. That's true. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Basically, I went for Super Cheese, Witch, Night Witch. That's my jam. I love spawner units. And then he went for full-out Elixir Golem hard counters with Bowler, Valkyrie, Executioner, and the Log. His deck is pretty viable too. So for the challenge, I recommend using either mine or his. It's going to be really good. It's really going to depend on the meta, to be honest. I beat five players before Seth beat me. And Seth is a really good player. He and I strategize the best decks to make for these challenges. So it's no surprise that he hard countered this deck specifically. Honestly, it doesn't matter which deck you choose he probably has like a 5.0 deck this is a 4.0 deck this feels like triple elixir because of the amount of elixir golems that you get so it doesn't matter how expensive your deck is build whatever you want build a 5.0 deck with all bowlers all executioners and everything and it will actually work out really well it starts ramping up after the first wave of elixir golems but that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you everyone that is using code oj until next time stay tuned for more quality oj